everybody, it's Mama J. Inspector. We are here with our Monday Madness video. Today... show off the police pops which actually were a gift remember yes from DJ Funko Pop Hunter um, he sent me these all as a gift so it was a complete set so we're gonna show these off but Spectre also has a police box set that I bought for him I don't even know how long ago uh, four years ago actually is that all yeah that was longer than that no, four years ago, but it has four CDs. So there's CD one and CD two, and it has some like information about the songs and the band. All like this really cool like graphic art. Like here's a oh, that's cool. Um, you know, pictures and stuff. And then you at the very back you have CDs three and four, and it's called the Message in a Box. Which is really cool, the way it's all set up, the way it was done. Uh, I really liked that box set. Yeah. That was a really good box set. Plus, I have always liked The Police. Um, prior to Sting just being a solo artist, I used to listen to The Police all the time. He then discovered The Police, and he started listening to them. So I bought him the box set for The Police, and it's actually pretty awesome. But we are going to take these pops out of the box so that you guys can check them out outside the box. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, so we've taken them out of the box and we're going to show each one of them off. Do you want to show Sting off first? Yeah. So I do like that they have a pretty cool design on this. Sneakers. guitar has like the strings and everything which is kind of cool yeah the details are really good the details really good all right and then I'm gonna show off Andy uh, which is Sting's brother he also has very good detail if you look at his guitar and it has the strap he also has the green and white shirt on underneath um, the one thing I noticed on Sting, though, was like the way the hair is in the front, how it kind of is done up, which is really nice, because um, it gives it a little different look. Yep. Stuart. Yeah, he has his uh, drumsticks and all that. And then his drum set's really cool. Yeah, I didn't even realize till we opened it that it was separate pieces. So, a lot of good detail on the symbols and on the actual set oh, so there's all the information letting you know it's a Funko product from 2019 it it. <laughs> oh it does have all the information printed on the back so if you were to come across this you would know what it was so that's pretty cool so these are really cool really really cool I was very happy to get these for my set as you know I like the rock and roll pops and police. They're a classic band. Yeah. They're a classic band. Hands down. So uh, I know Sting went solo after a while. He did have stuff I liked. <laughs> <laughs> he did still have music that I liked, but I really liked them as a band. I mean, if I had to choose Sting solo or police as the band, I would probably go with police as the band. So... Now that we've shown these off, we're going to go ahead and leave them out. We'll just move them to the side. We'll leave Sting over there since he wanted to be solo. And we are going to open some trading cards. All right, so here we are with our tub of trading cards again. Yep. And again, there are all kinds in here. I know there's like 
some MTV raps, some Backstreet silly Boys. CDs. Backstreet Boys. There's uh, some country music ones in here. Some Elvis. Uh, there's Kiss. Uh, there's all kinds in here. So let's see what we draw out this time. Again, we're not going to peek. We're just going to reach in and randomly draw one. So look away. Stop peeking. I'm not peeking. Okay, and then... I'm going to go with this one. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, we drew the same one. So one of us needs to draw something else. I did these last time. Okay. So just so we don't have the same one. What'd you get? Another one? Well, maybe I should draw. Oh. Oh, it's open. <laughs> well, set that to the side. We'll show that off just because it's already open. All right. What'd Cal you get? Elvis. All right. You got Elvis ones. Cool. These All are right. $3.39 in Canada. In Canada. <laughs> and only $2.49 in the United States. So oh. Suck it, Canada. <laughs> Alright, so I got the silly CD ones, which we know that uh, look for randomly inserted stickers. Did you get a sticker last time? Uh, I don't think so, right? I don't think so. But it also has puzzle pieces in here. So we're going to collect them, and hopefully eventually we'll have enough to put one of the puzzles together, and we'll show it off. Yeah. So you want to show that off since it already fell open? Yeah, so we got Backstreet Boys. Is that what they are? Because I was about to say I don't know who that is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And these are just random pictures. Is that what they are? Yep. Oh, they're kind of like a postcard kind of thing, right? Uh, are they like a like postcard? Pictures. Oh, yeah, they're just like pictures. Oh, here we go. From Brian with Loves and Kisses. Oh. To all Backstreet fans, thanks all for the support. We couldn't do this without you. Wow, look how young they look right there. They look really young. <laughs> so, anyways, these obviously are in the do not keep pile because I didn't even know who they were individually without somebody saying, hey, it's a Backstreet. So... Let's go ahead. You got more than me, so why don't you start first? Yeah, I think you only got like six cards or something. Hold on, I gotta open this the correct way. So I actually said last time I just tore into it. Even though that looks like what he's doing. No. Okay. You try opening a pack of cards from the from the forties <laughs> in a good condition. These are those aren't from the forties. Alright, so here we have Elvis's guns. That's cool. Didn't we get those in another picture? Uh, we got his revolver. Oh, that's right, with his badge. Yeah. yeah. So what year are these cards from that you're opening up? 92. 92? 93. 93. Okay. Oh, look, the year you were born. Yep. Alright, what else we got? We got Elvis portrait. Oh, wait. Might help if you separate them. They were stuck together. Two Elvis portraits. Uh, poses with the friend Nick Adams from Follow That Dream. And the other one's just a portrait. And Follow That Dream is actually an Elvis movie. Alright, and here we got... Nothing particular, just him doing his hair. <laughs> he has to get his hair did. I think it said something about like the fawns in here or something. No. And here we have him from the movie uh, The Trouble with Girls. Trouble with Girls, yeah. I think I've seen every Elvis movie there is. Your... My mother is a huge Elvis fan. Uh, here he is licking drumsticks. That's exactly what he's doing. Alright, one more than you show off one. And here we have him. In the famous white suit. August 16th, 1977. That was the year that he passed away. 
Well, that's when this picture was taken. So that's the year. That was probably one of the last, close to the last photos of Elvis, because he did pass away in 1977. Um, so I have a puzzle piece from Marilyn Monroe puzzle number three. Well, it says Marilyn Moron. Oh, it does say Marilyn Moron. <laughs> So anyways, it's one piece to the puzzle. I think the last piece we got was for the Dixie Chicks, but it was the Nixon Chicks. The Dixie Nicks. The Nixon Chicks. Yeah, the Nixon Chicks. So uh, we got another piece. And again, we will hold on to these. Maybe we'll get enough to put one of the puzzles together. All right. Um, oh, did I get a second puzzle piece? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got a second puzzle piece. This one is for the... The kidney stones, which would be probably the rolling stones. So I got another puzzle piece. So I got two puzzle pieces, and now I'm going to let you go. Uh, so here we have Stay Away Joe in his yellow shirt. That looks like one size too small on him. It's how they used to wear them. Uh, walked into any home, so I guess this is like a photo on his home. Of Lisa Marie and Priscilla. His wife and his daughter. Here's Elvis 1975 Dino Ferrari. There's a lot of parts left here on this one. Yeah, that's what I want you to keep going. Uh, just him playing with another band. This is him in Hawaii. Elvis led the way for a lot of people, you know, being the king of rock and roll. He opened a lot of doors, changed a lot of things. Back in the day when Elvis would, uh, like, go on TV, they were like, don't film him from the waist below because he, they considered his dance moves provocative and they weren't acceptable on TV. They're nothing compared to dance moves today. Here he is in Vegas. And this one's kind of cool. Oh, that is cool. So this is um, Marie's The Name gold album uh, card. So it has like a little gold album thing in there in the corner and on the back. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is number 39 of 50. Oh, wow. That's 50 gold albums we have to find. Elvis in the early days. You want to go Keep do going. One? I only have three cards, so I'm going to let him finish. Uh, here he is in... He was a great army story. This is him in the army. Yeah, he did serve in the army, even when he was already popular and well-known. So, here's... <laughs> The car he drove in the army, which is a uh, just a regular Jeep. Oh, here he is on the radio in the army. I guess all these green ones are army based. Oh, maybe, maybe they're themed by color. Yep, sure enough. Well, that's kind of cool. Here he is signing his life away into the army. Uh, this is him in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, on set for a movie of Alfred Wertheimer's pictures mm -hmm. here he is rehearsing on the keyboard signing autographs and his dining room in his house So a couple of fun facts about Elvis. Obviously, 
you know, your grandmother was in love with Elvis, thought he was, you know, the king, and he was. But your grandmother on your father's side actually went to high school with Elvis. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he actually was in her yearbook. Wow, that's kind of cool. I don't know who ended up with that yearbook, but, you know, what a deal, right? All right, so I got three here. I got... Flabby Rude by the Bottles, which should be Abbey Road by the Beatles, but that's the funny title. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that's just... We looked up the website. We told them, right, that it's not a real website. Um, this is Sicky Farton featuring the hit song Letting, Letting La Vida Stinka. Oh, so this must be Ricky Martin, Living La Vida Loca. So that's pretty cool. He's eating a can of beans. Yeah, because he won't be farting away. Oh, and then we got Barfy Favorites. Sing along with the burgundy guzzing winosaurus. And this is Barney. I love booze. Booze loves me. Holy crap, I have to pee. That's a great big squeak. I'm falling on the floor. Alcoholic dinosaur. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so these are pretty funny. These are pretty funny. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, so especially if you can guess who they're supposed to be. Yeah, no. Um, the Elvis ones, love the Elvis ones. Some of them are really cool. So we will keep a lot of those for our collection. But uh, so we reviewed the police pops, which again are amazing. So that is a complete set that we have. It's funny because when you look how Sting is standing, see how his foot is beveled a little where it's up there that's pretty cool that's a really good detail right there so uh and then you know of course the police box set all right so we will have more reviews uh we do have some rock and roll comics coming in we will review those and you've seen our bucket of cards every video we will each open a pack of cards yep. so all right guys so have a rocking monday and we will see you next time bye